big attacks going on now. Four or five riders going clear. Look at Adam Yates. Here goes Tade Pogaccia. He now takes over. Yates needs to slot in on the wheel. His brother is hunting for his back wheel. 10 kilometers of this stage to go. Over the top of the final climb of the day, the final classified climb. Pogaccia, Vengard, Lafay. And Vengegaard and Pogaccia are going to go with him. They almost hit the barriers. Vengegaard just gives Pogaccia a little bit of a knock out of the way. But here goes Jonas Vengegaard. He's going to try and attack over the top. Vengegaard and Pogaccia going for bonus seconds at the top of the Yeskabel. And it's going to be Pogaccia. And he accelerates over the top and carries on. Onto the descent. Pogaccia and Vengegaard are clear. attacks another blow now as he goes flying past the rest of the riders and Pogaccia is unable to react to Jonas Vengegaard the defending champion of the Tour de France takes flight on the Col de Marie Blanc and Pogaccia doesn't have an answer yet himself has had to be brave today. He wanted to put Tony Bocaccia's challenge to the sword, and it appears he may well have done it this early in the race. Still some big climbs to come tomorrow, but he has had a big old task today, and it's going to be Ciccone, uh, the strongest of all of these in this line, that's going to be runners-up spot for Ciccone today. Bigger go, not going to get any bonus seconds here after doing all of that work. He finds himself coming home in fifth place on the day, but he'll rue it tonight. Attack, Pogaccia rips it now up this mountain. The white jersey has decided, right, yesterday you put me on the ropes. Today I'm going to absolutely blitz it up this mountain. Pogaccia opens up the gap now on Vengegaard. Day one yesterday, Vengegaard had it. Now Pogaccia puts in a big blow to the hopes of the defending champion. Here it goes, 
Pogaccia kicks on, Vigigo goes onto his back wheel, Simon uh, uh, Yates cannot follow, and neither can Rodriguez, uh, or indeed his teammate Tom Pidcock. It's about the two main players, we thought this would happen. Oh, there's a gap here! Find the seconds where you possibly can. No more bonuses up for grabs, of course, for these guys at the top. Vigigo just has to pace himself ever so slightly, but uh, this is Pogaccia who finds himself at the moment with three or four bike lengths. Is he going to extend this gap, Sean? Well, maybe the cooling waters have helped him an awful lot, and it is growing! Oh, my life! Here we go! So does Fogaccia. He wrestles into this nasty, gnarly 14% and more. My goodness, he's going for this, and he has to. Well, they're about eight minutes down, and he weaves just to one side. Please avoid that uh, curbing, and he crosses the line. Tony Bocaccia making a big statement here. He goes, a massive attack. On his wheel goes Jonas Vengegaard. Pidcock is trying to recover, but Pogaccia is putting in a massive blow here. What an attack of the Slovenian. Pogaccia crosses the line now, and Vengegaard crosses the line now. the attack of Pogaccia, Yates has done his work, Vengegaard's head goes left, goes right, and he can't follow. Pogaccia now goes racing around the next turn. This is the move of the Tour de France. Pogaccia is trying to deal the blow that delivers the yellow jersey. Pogaccia now, big attack. Never has a bonus oh, the motorbikes. so important. These motorbikes need to get out the way. Vengegaard attacks. He goes for the top of the climb. Pogaccia is trying to get on terms. Here's the top of the Col de Juplan. Eight seconds, five and two. Counter attack. Pogaccia now goes. Jonas Vengegaard. Jonas Vengegaard is showing his strength as the defending champion of the Tour de France. Pogaccia tries one more time. Vengegaard is still there. He knows that that's his finish line. He will be in yellow. And Vengegaard is going to try and go past on this turn. They go shoulder to shoulder. Jonas Vengegaard. Jonas Vengegaard has flown his way from Passy to Combleu. This is a stunning, stunning time trial. The stunning assassin. He is going to win this time trial. Jonas Vengegaard. 1 minute 38 seconds. Absolutely incredible. Tadej Pogacar is starting to suffer. 
The heat has got to him. We just noticed that the jersey was unzipped totally and Pogaccia is starting to feel the tempo, feel the heat. And this is the moment that Pogaccia is cracking totally. Jonas Fengegaard has taken complete control of this tour. On the run to the finish, Fengegaard is a tired rider. He can't stay with Pelo Bilbao, but it's just academic. It doesn't really matter because Fengegaard is putting this Tour de France completely out of sight of any challenger. Yesterday, he crushed all the other competitors in the Tour. Today, he has absolutely obliterated everybody. Jonas Fengegaard crosses the line at 1.54. Adam Yates starts to lead it out. Fengegaard kicks on the right-hand side, takes the inside line. Pogaccia is right on his wheel. It's the yellow jersey and the white jersey. 1-2, the inseparable duo going for the finish line. But it is a win for Tade Pogaccia. Here goes Jonas Fengegaard. 4.3 kilometers to go, and he's decided it's time now to rip the race apart. He's testing out Pugaccia. The Tour de France winner of last year is looking defiant in the way that he's riding this climb. The two top riders in the world in the Grand Tours right now go clear. Acceleration by Tade Pagaccia. Gordou grimaces. Pagaccia wants the bonus, but Gordou goes on the inside. It's now a flat out sprint for the line between the two climbers. But the questions were asked this morning. Pagaccia answers them. It's going to be stage win for the double Tour de France winner. Tade Pagaccia wins at the top of the first mountain of Paris Nice. kilometers to the top of the mountain as Vengegaard has to free wheel into the hairpin such as the speed that he's got jumps out starts to make a few legs hurt and now the attack comes the strike of Pogaccia but here goes Pogaccia the explosion happens on the mountain and it's happened early Pogacar does not wait though, tries to get on the wheel straight away. Vingogo just does not have that explosive move. Pogacar does again, he blasts off with a line in sight but he's looking to hold it. Pogacar can see the finish line and Pog is back at the top. Pogacar primed for the Paris prize. Another stage win, more bonus seconds and that yellow jersey fitting ever that bit more comfortably. comes and it comes from the yellow jersey and Pogaccia decides no one else is going to test me on this climb. Pogaccia goes into full time trial beast mode. Pogaccia has just ridden every single rider in Paris Nice off his wheel. He looks around 
there's no one there. Last year he took the Trident, but now another line on Pogacar's Palmares has been filled. Already master of the two seas, Tadej Pogacar wins Paris-Nice and is now prince of the Promenade des Anglais. It's a hat-trick of stage wins this week. Dominant from start to finish. Tadej Pogacar, take a bow.